uh, hello everyone so today i am presenting end to end memory network the main concept here is using neural network recurrent attention model over a possibly large external memory i found this very uh, new concept for using the attention or uh, memory uh, network so there are different purpose so i read this this is end to end model which is the extended part of a paper memory network the motive here is there are sometimes uh, some statements and there is a question asked based on those statements and the answer is to be find from the statement for example sam walks into the kitchen sam picks and picks up an apple sam walks into the bedroom sam drops the apple where is the apple bedroom so with this uh, concept this paper is there now uh, now the sentence are stored in a memory in every memory slot the entire sentence is saved so let's move into the approaches how it works so now there's are discrete inputs uh, x1 to xm now x1 is a sentence xm is a sentence so every word will be x11 x22 like sam is x11 walks x12 so like this there is a input and then there is a query which is the question in the result we have output uh, which is an answer now uh, we use all those word from a dictionary v words motive is to store all those uh, x into the memory which is of fixed buffer size we are first talking about the single layer where uh, the input xi of vector e uh, is to be converted to memory vector mi of size d in the continuous space using a embedding matrix a of dimension e cross d these sentences with multiplying with embedding a memory uh, in mi now a query q is again multiplied with a matrix b which is an embedding b which has a similar dimension like a to obtain internal state u of size d so same like here this met question q is multiplied with matrix d or embedding b to get an internal u uh, we compute the matching between uh, u and m by taking a inner product followed by softmax we get p now the p is a probability vector over the input over the input this and we take x uh, this into an output vector same like here uh, by uh, multiplying again with p and c in, uh, and getting uh, output as o uh, now the questions come why c uh, to get o uh, why not some from m uh, this is because uh, to smoothen the input and output Uh, by which we can easily compute the gradient and we can do back propagation uh, here and also this concept are recently is were used in many memory based or attention based network and then we take the sum of output and internal state and with multiplying with weight matrix and take the softmax and predict the answer to get a predicted answer during the training we take a b c and w we and jointly learn it uh, by minimizing the cross entropy loss between the predicted label and two label now and also we use stochastic gradient descent while training uh, and this was the single layer we repeat this with uh, we have multiple layer of this as learning so we have multiple layer which is the main concept of the paper uh, with large external multiple memory and so it has the same concept just the input of the next and the input state of the uh, next layer would be the sum of the previous query vectors and uh, output vectors and at each layer has its own uh, ak and ck a1 c1 so we have some constraint uh, to make it easily uh, to do easily train it and reduce the number of parameters the last uh, hoop and no, hope is a recurrent part so is the one which is uh, used uh, to predict the answer uh, so we used two types of uh, weight 
time within the model one is adjacent where a k plus one is equal to c k uh, a two is equal to c one and a three equals to c two and the weight is equal to the final matrix uh, like w is equal to c three and b equals to a one uh, so b equals to a one and similarly for the layer wise all uh, output and input embeddings are same across the layer a one equals to a two equals to AK and C1 equals to this, and uh, we also have a linear mapping edge to update U between hoops. So UK plus one equals to H UK plus OK. Now H A B C and W all are learned together, and moreover layer wise is same like uh, RNN. When all those are equal, then it's the same like RN. Uh, now it is also used. In a language model, and which was the main reason to read this paper. Now, in the language model, we, in place of uh, the sentence, we use words to store in the memory slot, like we called. And uh, there is no query, so we use zero point one uh, constant vector, and without any embedding. And now, uh, let's talk about first. Uh, what is language model? So the main goal of a language model is to predict the next word in a text sequence given the previous word x. So we have uh, we stored n minus one word previous we stored n words previous which includes the current word and try to uh, predict the next word uh, from uh, try to predict the next word. So these are stored in the memory. And then we use that. Uh, the output softmax predicts with the word with the vocab size of v uh, in the next sequence. Uh, the output weight of each layer are same, and the query weight uh, are also same. So it's same like here. And then the uh, and the temporary term into the embedding to record the order of a word in the memory uh, which is uh, using a fixed order uh, in the memory uh, like L in the memory while putting the multiplication uh, here like A into X into L to get the order uh, so this we do in the language model. Unfortunately, this doesn't give a good result in language model than compared to question answer generation. But with few modification, I think this may give a better result compared to RNN and LSTM. Thank you.